Uh, what? Excuse me? Oh, I am gonna die. Hey folks, and welcome to After Work Gaming. We are back on the planet where we got our hyperdrive settled out, or uh, sorted out. Ooh, we don't have enough fuel to launch. I was gonna say, let's just get off the ground and get uh, get moving, but I guess I gotta I gotta fuel up this ship. There we go. Fueled, and we just have enough to jump. So let's get off planet. Woo! This is a really cool planet. I really like these floating hunks of rock. They're super cool. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's super cool. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, we looked at that long enough. Let's now head outside. And figure out how we jump. Oh, well, that's cool. You can see the space station from the planet, I guess. We are now almost, yeah, there we are, asteroids. We can now check it out. All right, so we go to the galactic map, as this thing tells us. M. Fisfiladishvampto. All right, fine, whatever. Uh huh. Yinslapiohul. Uh, scan for discoveries, add waypoint, engage. Okay. Free exploration mode. Interesting. Uh, push to select. Interesting, interesting. And by interesting, I mean I'm a little bit not getting how this map works, but okay. This is where we can go, okay. I wonder what this is. What is this path? I guess maybe it's towards the center. So this is where we are, right? Clearly this is where we are. And these are all the different stars we can jump to. But let's assume for a second that it's telling us this is where we want to go. Okay, no records found, undiscovered. Warp, warp computation validated, engage. Right? Because... Whatever, there's a line, right? We can otherwise jump to a bunch of different places. It's undiscovered, it's 62.4 light years away. Yin Slapipo Hul, region limb all over fringe. Engage. Oh. Nice. Okay. So this is what it's like to warp. This is some 2001, like, mind-blown stuff here. Okay. Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, man. What is that? What are you? You need, like, more freighters, aren't you? Acquire antimatter formula, craft antimatter, craft warp cells. That's my goals here. Easy, slow it down, slow it down. Let's just ping this neighborhood and see what we can find. Yeah, these are container ships. Uh huh. It's a moon and. Whoa! Time to activate our star system scan. Yes. Ooh, manufacturing facility detected. Where is that? There we go. Let's do the old trick of figuring out to go up. And so on, whatever that is. Looks like there's water on that. You seeing that? There's like water on this planet or something? Okay. So, 30 seconds to get there. We're probably going to get pulled out of pulse drive the moment we get close to it, but that's fine. We're still in our Rasamama S36, and uh, I think our first thing was to, to learn how to make antimatter, right? Because I guess, we, I mean, if we're going to keep jumping, we should just not rely on the kindness of that one guy who gave us anything. And maybe we'll find out 
Yep, see, this is what I'm talking about. When you jump, sometimes it pulls you straight to the planets. Now, there we are. We've been made not in pulse drive, because otherwise we just slam right straight into the... What's that? You seeing this? What is that? What is that? Okay. I did not expect that, but fine. What is this? Man, this looks a little bit different than what we used to have, huh? In our little... In our own home pl home system, or the system where we ended up. It's about as close to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I see it. There we go. Back it down, thank you. Boom. There's a sentinel. Plains of Domet. Forsaken planet. Weather balmy. Sentinel low. Flora not present. Fauna devoid. Uh, let's recharge everything before we continue. This place is... The name like the Forsaken Planet. Uh, you know it's gotta be interesting. Well, it's just like, uh... It's just the name. Like the Death Planet. I mean, all things like that have names in the Galaxy of Terror. There we go. Another another convergence cube. Man. Right, let's go ahead and save it now. We'll come out well when we come out of the manufacturing facility we'll save it again. Kinda wanna explore this place. Even though it's like super barren. Interesting. Stalactite formations there. Or stalagmites, whichever, I can never tell. Uh, let's get the plutonium going here. You know, guys, I thought you weren't supposed to be on this planet, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, for a second planet means nobody's on this planet. Steel. Ooh. Milestone accomplished. Accomplished what? I'm a drifter. I've traveled 10,000. I see. 10,000 units traveled. I'm a drifter. Is that the only way in? Oh man. I have to break and enter into this place? Uh, I got the suspicion these guys are not going to be happy when I start blowing up the door. But fortune favors the bold. There we go. Oh wow. These actually are persistent. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm a horrible person. I'm sorry. Yeah, calm down. What is this? Read encyclopedia. I've learned the Gek word for friend. Ooh, that's a useful one. Which is a word I am almost positive I will never hear from any of these people. Especially after I start blowing the doors off of their installations. Okay. What's this? Check stock transfer. Ooh, I got money. I don't know why, but I mean, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth on that. Okay, here we go. Carbon. Another multi tool tech. Beam coolant. Mining beam is modified to extend time between cooldown periods. <gasps> I need this iridium. I need this. Although I don't have any space on my on my um, on my multi tool. What's this? Lenning prune. Assembly, Gek Manufacturing Facility. Somewhere below my feet, I hear the endless churn of automated machinery performing unknown tasks for unknown masters. A screen flickers into life, and letters stamp themselves across it. Nada nada, escape Atlas, find us nada nada. And then a formula is displayed, how to make my own antimatter. With this knowledge, I can create warp cells, the final puzzle piece. I can now travel anywhere I please, or should I follow Atlas or find nada and polo? Antimatter contain negative ma matter and baryogenesis antiparticles. Bar baryogenesis antiparticles. A force harnessed in many starships and exosuit systems, not least hyperdrive technology. I need electron vapor, iridium, and zinc. Can I, I guess electron vapor I probably buy, right? For now. Okay. Uh, well, that message suggested that maybe I should not 
do anything that Atlas wants me to do at the moment. Hey, buddy. Don't worry, I'm not... Okay, crafting. Okay. Um, I need... Iridium. That's what I need. And I also need to save. Save. Nice. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Ba, da, ba. Let's go in this. Yeah? Is it low? Okay. Nice. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. What is this? Is my question. Is this Heridium or is this a different thing altogether? This may be a different thing because now I'm in a different... I mean, maybe there's some progression mechanic here. Aluminum. I don't need aluminum, and I, I, I don't want to spare, necessarily, I don't want to, oh, there it is. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wait a minute, I'm seeing something more interesting here. Take me down. Yeah, I knew it, it's a monolith. Nice. And... And there's just aluminum around here, although... No? No, no idea. Thought maybe that would be Heridium, but who knows. I like that everything here is kind of purple. Do I need a more plutonium? Yeah, I do. Back off, man. Oh, you! Get back. No? Boom. That's right. Sentinel forces deactivated. That's right. Uh, take this, take that. Thank you. I got a neutrino module. Nope, my ship is full. Okay. Um, that's fine. Let's see what the Gek plaque says, yeah? Memories and beauties of the rock long ago by the ancient Gek Hanel. Hanel. Into my brain. I recoil, but I'm compelled to somehow understand. Through time and space, the first spawn endures eternally. Ever watchful, unyielding over its dominion. Each foe will be crushed. Only the Gek will remain. My knowledge of the Gek increases. I've now learned the Gek word for despair. Well, that's a little dark. Okay. No more monkeying around. Uh, for now. Let's check out. Yep. We need Heridium. Okay. No more messing around. Where's my Heridium at? Skim the surface, baby. Let's go. Whoop. 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 There it is. Dun, 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 dun. Down. Oh, could it be any more perfect? I don't think it could. Okay. I don't know what that stuff is. There's some weird clover stuff. I could scan it, but uh, I'm not going to do that now. Because we need a Heridium, right? We need Heridium like we need another hole in our head. But what do we. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, I can make electron vapor from suspension fluid and plutonium, which I have. And Heridium, I need 50. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Harvest some of that Heridium. Uh, I got four. Let's just go ahead. One, two, three, four. Boom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Swiss cheese this rock. Nice. How much viridium do I have now? Oh, I'm 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 full. Okay. So I have more than enough. Uh, now what I need, I think the rest I can buy from the store. And in fact, I have to buy from the store. Yeah, this is kind of dead. Kind of a dead planet here. For a second planet, I mean. I could explore it a little bit further, but you know what? I kind of just want to... S oh, I don't know enough thruster. Exosuit. Let's just top this off before I consume all the rest of my plutonium. And I'm going to need plutonium because I have to make... Uh, I'm going to have to... Hmm. Let him out. Is there... Yes, there is. Woo! Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now. Pretty sure I gathered way too much. Nope, I gathered just enough. So, let's take off. Whoa. Uh, that was quite the takeoff there, man. But okay. Let's... Let's do this. See if there's anything in this in this uh, system beyond yeah, the base ingredients for suspension fluid. One, two, three, go! All right, so 37 seconds until we get to the space station. That's fine. Uh, so let's get to the space station, and we'll see. Maybe we'll call it there because I think again we've made a lot of progress. We'll check that that for a second planet, which, frankly, after the floating space rock anomaly. I prefer that planet, at least aesthetically, right? But if we have to... Hmm. Do we follow Atlas? I mean, we're going to have to make a decision, I guess, if we follow Atlas or if we go after this Nada and whatever. And I don't know if they're mutually... Whoa. That's cool. I wonder how many different space stations there are, but look at this thing. The design of this thing is pretty neat. Big ball. Here we go. Boom. Although on the inside it's the same. Yeah, I would have liked a little more variety, but okay, fine. It's fine. Beggars cannot be choosers. Okay, we're out. Perfect. Let's see. Restore points saved. Let's see what we can get here. Now we need suspension fluid, and we need uh, to make electron vapor. Hey, man. Uh, it's over here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is there? What is this? Ooh, shields at maximum. Nice. Take your isotopes here, because we need some carbon. At least of all, if we want to talk to you again. Okay. Hey, buddy. Director Osisaiten. Friend despair! What? Gek Suluran Nasingo Gigdlatil Apor. Gek Clarit Tatni Lulikopa. Safer Gida Ble. Latil Humsta. The friend despair thing is a little weird. But okay. I mean, I've read your tablets and whatever. You are. Really? Uh-huh, anyway. The air around the beaked life form smells foul. It seems to my exosuit and makes me gag. Noticing my expression, the traitor packs out an element it carries. It breaks the unknown substance to pieces, then swallows each hole. There's a deep gurgle, and the traitor emits a gas packet that smells delightful. The creature wipes its empty hands and beams at me with pleasure. Um, common isotope, silicate, oxide. Let's go with carbon, because I'm pretty sure I fed him car- like, the, the last one wanted a carbon in order for me to talk to him again. 
Trader nods a brief thank you would pay for my contribution, but would perhaps have preferred something else. Uh, well, I mean, he wants carbon. What? I mean, uh, fine. Can I trade? I've been told I need to get to the galactic journey. Milestone to come. Oh, here it is. Not alone. Met four aliens. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Let's just double check the ingredients we need in order to make any of this stuff. Um, electron vapor, suspension fluid plus we need. We just need one suspension fluid in order to make electron vapor, and then we need the electron vapor. So let's just see what we need for, or whether or not we can sell any of this stuff. First, let's sell. Don't need this. Sink. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah, I need freedom module. Suspension fluid, perfect. Uh, a thousand. Okay. Let's buy one. Suspension fluid. Now, let's grab make one. And an antimatter. And then a warp cell. Nice. Can we build more? Because it, it, it's saying multiples, right? Uh, I don't have enough Thamium 9. Really? Interesting. But that's a quick fix. I mean, so let's do this. Let's get one more suspension fluid and buy it and make one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's build a paper. Let's build an antimatter. Nice. Okay, let's get back in the ship. Let's go mine some asteroids. We'll make a second antimatter. Look at that! What is that? Come here. No! Don't leave! Ah. Oh. Fine. I need 70 thomium. Alright. Come here, your asteroids. Your asteroids? You asteroids? I like this music. It's kind of weird. Oh, here we go. Uh, what? Excuse me? Oh, I am going to die. Oh, this is bad. Where are you? Oh my god, why are there like seven of them? Jesus. This is not good. I am not equipped to fight these guys. Oh, yo. Yeah. Uh, let's hightail it back to... Go, 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 go. Come on. Shields down, yeah, I get that. Oh my goodness. That's not good. <sighs> no. Come on, come on, come on. Barrel roll. That's what I'm talking about. No, I'm gonna die. It's done. It's done. Sorry. <laughs> Life is pleasant, death is unplay. Okay, fine. Death by ship combat. Well. Did I lose everything? Well, not everything. I have one warp cell. Let's do this then. Because maybe they're thinking I have a warp cell and that's the thing. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's go. Sorry about that, guys, uh, but my ship is just not prepared for, um... There we go. Restoring lost inventory. Lemium, shmemium, yeah, okay. 
whatever. Boom. More ice cubes. Okay. Now that's enough. That's enough themium, right? Let's build one more of these. And let's just quickly fuel up before those before those gentlemen return, let's say. Get some more themium up in here. What's this? Is this a different asteroid? Wow. Well, that's different. Yes, 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 yes. I get that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so. Let's do the following. So we're in space. We're probably going to get ambushed again or something. But let's see. Okay, fine. Can I go here directly? Too far to jump. Upgrade my drive. I gotcha. Activate the hyperdrive ugly glasses and press pressing the pressing. Okay. So let's leap to the next system. We'll see exactly what it looks like, or we'll get an idea of what it looks like. Wow. I don't know what this look what this stuff is. Hold on. Okay, it's still the yellow yellow line. There's nothing else. Okay, four planets, class F9PF, undiscovered, 76.5 light years away. Limholvrev Fringe, Oli Sutbertsol X. I mean, we could look at the rest of the planets here, but I just want to keep going. Because right? remember, this is like, it's quintillions of planets, right? Which means that even if we leave some stuff unexplored, which I would like to, but I... I now that we're in space, I always want to keep moving. Also, I don't want to be in the place where those guys are going to gang up on me. Because, frankly, I'm not keen on dying again. Mm. Mm. kind of want to see what this is, though. Boom. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is cool. This looks like a ship. Look at those things. How is that not awesome? And I'll tell you how it isn't. It's not not. Not not, whatever. Okay, let's... Yes, scan around a little bit. It's an alien monolith down there, huh? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. The Atlas. Find us. Hear us. Really? Uh, here's what we're going to do, though. Whoop. Calm down. Calm it down. I got a little more thumb in. It's one way to mine. Boom. Yeah, it's my... You, the traveling at faster speeds make it, makes it much harder for you to turn at all. But that's fine. So we're gonna we're gonna dock so that the game saves. Boom. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, so that the game saves. We're not even gonna see who the who's in charge of the of the station. We're just gonna dock. And we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna come back to it next time and pick up from where we left off. And we're going to go see what's up with Atlas. I guess he's going to, or it, or whatever, is going to introduce itself. I say Atlas is a he just because, well, it's a dude in, in Greek mythology, right? But whatever. It's an amorphous red sphere thing, so technically doesn't have any gender. All right, here we are. 
pop out of the cockpit. And that's it for this time, I think. Next time we will go, first off, maybe check in to see who's here. And then we're going to go find Atlas and hear him, it, her, whatever, on the planet. Hmm. Okay, so if you like this episode, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you didn't or you think you would like to see something else or you think I could do something better, by all means, leave me a comment. Uh, everything's welcome. And uh, in any case, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.